So it's called out of the years, Mark Forecroft and the Tribes. Right. So we're going to play the Jaffa Geeks. Band name, like it's kind of old school, like Mac Broca and the Shrouds. It's not really any bands like doing that, so yeah. uh, you know what I mean. That old school sort it of basically thing. was me doing the keys of the floor, so my name, and then I just wanted the band behind it. That's where these guys came in in that sense, but it's kind of a bit more than that now. It's more of a gimmick now than an actual me and them. It's more of a band, it's more like enjoying the rockets or something yeah. like that. Just took it like that, 50s. I don't think. Um, so you toured with Swimmers, formerly Emily's Army, you were the first guest on Colin interviews actually. I'm Colin and I'm sitting here with Emily's Army. Hey, hi. hi. Um, so you did tour with Swimmers and Weezers, so that's where a lot of people first saw you I assume. So how was that tour for you? That was a great tour. I mean, uh, great shows, like they were packed out there every night. So, I don't know, it just helped us become a better live band, because before we were doing like cover sets and stuff and it really like polished our set on stage. Yeah. You guys want to say anything? He, yeah. he is exactly right. Yeah. I, I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> the best, best times have yeah. been saved. Yeah. Um, so of course you're like friendly with swimmers, so how did that relationship come about? I knew uh, Emily's Army on MySpace in like, like 2010. So, just kind of chatting and stuff, and then um, it was like 2013 I went to see him in Manchester and met him after the gig, and then I had him on Facebook, started chatting to them again, and just kind of went from there really. So, so um, of course, where, where like a lot of your like um, hype is coming from is the fact that um, Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day produced and played bass on your album, so how did that come about? That's through Joey, just pure luck really. At the end of the day, like Billy seemed to like the song, so he'd come in and just do producing or whatever. He said he'd play bass, so I'll well, look for it, you know. So, um, how much time? It was really, really exciting. It was great. <laughs> Best time of your life. It was great. Look at it, right? So, how did he end up actually playing bass? Like, because uh, you knew he was going to produce it, but how did he end up on the bass guitar? This Joey's mate was going to do bass, wasn't it? I think there's a guy called Josh who's going to do it, and then uh, we got to a burrito bar or something in the place, where, and then we sat down with Joey, and Joey just said, yes, yeah, so my dad's going to do bass. And because he didn't think that the guy would do it just or something, or whatever. yeah. But then we got to, got to it, and we shared it. Mm. Matt went first, he wanted to do bass. It didn't really, it didn't work out. <laughs> then Billy did a four or five, five. Yeah, five songs. Then the rest of them, like we Shit, you know, 
That's we didn't really have the whole video and then a bit of band, really. We didn't really have too many ideas, but we got this guy Kyle to like help kind of direct what we were gonna do, and he filmed it all by himself and edited it, and he did a really good job. So he was, was really easy to work with. Yeah, and it came together quite nicely. Cheap too. He's also done the Turn Me On music video, which we haven't released yet. I kind of like an expert in actually. Cow, right? uh, you did film the Turn Me On music video. When can we expect to see it? The f I don't know. No idea when we feel like putting it out, really. <laughs> feel it's going to get the best. What's the word? Response. Impact. Yeah. Impact. Impact. Yeah. Yeah. Do we wait until you have something else to launch with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, from yeah. Yeah, like that. So, um, of course, everyone knows you guys have a full album recorded and everything. So, uh, when is that going to see the later date, do you think? Probably. It's Hopefully, good. like. It'd be nice at the end of this year, but probably it'd probably be next year. It's point. a similar thing to the, the video, just wait until yeah. there's a, some backing mm -hmm. so you can actually put it out and have a bit of impact instead of just putting it out to no one. We want to make most of it yeah. because it's a massive opportunity. Yeah, we'd love to see it out now, but yeah. we wouldn't do it. Lovely to hear it, just that's just this. want as many people as possible to hear it, yeah, you know what I mean? What can you tell us about the album itself? Like, you know, how many songs did you record and um, what, what, what are you feeling with this album? You know? um, there's 11 songs. They're all pretty different, aren't they? But they all kind of fit together quite nicely. Yeah. Um, it's very diverse. Yeah. yeah. Got an acoustic one on there. Yeah, there's sort of soft metal and ballad one. I mean, I use acoustic on a few songs. There's like Kick It, uh, the tunes like that, Crook. Some sing along yeah. ones, yeah, and then there's some. Uh, ska, warning, yeah, yeah, more yeah it's good on like tones. country, <laughs> rock, ska, rock indie, and punk, everything really. All the stuff we love. Of course, I should mention you guys are on your own tour at the moment. You played Cardiff last night. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Does Colin, are you saying out? Cheers, Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>